welcome to another episode of GVL TV. Proudly sponsored by Gagliardi Scott. Uh, great people, great results. Tonight, we're at the uh, Echuca Football Netball Club and I've got Tamara Nichols joining me tonight. How are you tonight, Tamara? I'm good, thank you. Excellent. Um, want to find out a little bit about yourself. You've been at the club, I heard you say earlier, maybe since about 2009. Nine, I think, yeah. Yeah, so what's, um, what got you here, how, why and all those sort of things? Well, actually, I, I moved here for work and it was actually during one of my consultations that a patient said, why don't you come down and, and try out at Echuca, which was the season had already started. So I came down because I'd started playing in Bendigo and then transferred them. Yep. So how did you find that um, transition from playing a bit of um, netball in Benigo, or in the Benigo League or the It was the in the London Valley. Yeah, okay, yeah. all right. Mm. Um, to come and play GVL football, the, the difference in that? Yeah, it was really good. It was, um, and I found it was probably more of a social thing at the start. It was great to meet people in the yep. town. And I did find that it was definitely a challenge um, stepping up into the league, into GV. But yep. It was good. Okay. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, so we're, what, um, nearly 10 plus years in, in playing or nine years now? I did have club. a break yeah. because I did end up working away so I was travelling so I had a break for about four or five years and then came back just because I couldn't commit to the training midweek because I was travelling with yeah. work okay. um, and then I came back yeah okay and work wise what, what is it so I'm do? a podiatrist oh okay yes. excellent yes. so you look after all the players and the, the netballers in the club yes Good, okay, <laughs> works a bit of both ways. All right, nice, good yes. stuff. Um, and so far the year, the girls gelling all together and everything's working pretty yeah, well? Yeah, it's been really yeah. good because we've had a few changes in different players that have come back to the club. So it has been a lot of fun, actually. A really good mix of yeah. ages and, and really good just to start the season as well after yeah. pre-season. Excellent. And um, I'm, I'm not going to suggest for one moment that you're old, but um, you know, you've got <laughs> the new girls coming along. How, does, how do you work to make that gel with you know the, getting the blend of the old and the new and, and young and... Yeah, absolutely. I think it's something that is really important that we do have a really good mix of the old and young. So you obviously sometimes you can't. We had very, very young side last year and sometimes it depends on who's around. But um, if it does, we really do try and have those leaders that have been around um, leading those younger ones for support as well. And look, we learn a lot of the young ones too. Yeah. So it goes both ways. It does. It does indeed. Yes. Um, both the football and the netball club coming together. Yeah. Um, how does that work? Is that um, It's been no? really good actually. We had a, one of our first like social functions on the yep. weekend and I know a lot of the time during our nights at uh, dinner they've been really trying to promote um, mixing between the, the netballers, the footballers and our girls football team as well. So yep. yeah, so that was a really nice way to start the year to, to have a bit of a social function together, a dress up and, and everyone mixed and, and started talking outside of our training. That's good. Excellent. Mm. Um, I know you just talked a little bit about the, uh, the football Football, the yes. girls' football. How, yes. How's that been accepted into the club? Yeah, really good. I think because last year being the first year, it's always a little bit harder because they're not playing on the same day, which makes it a little bit more difficult just to get to know them and for them yeah. to feel welcome. But this year, I think everyone's trying to take that next step to really try and bring them into the club and involve them in a lot more functions and teas and, and even maybe have a few games where we're on the same day and they might play after the seniors. So, okay. yeah. Excellent. All right, that's the hard part done. We're going to have a bit of fun now. Okay, yes. we're going to go with the uh, the fast turn. You're up for it? Yes. Okay, all right, here we go. Um, who goes overboard with the strapping each game? I never go to the strapping room, so I never okay, see. So you don't know? It's not no, you then. Okay, it's probably Kane. Kane, okay. <laughs> who secretly loves uh, the fishing shows? Um, Sherry. What about the biggest softie at the club? That would be Sharon. What about the sorest loser? None of us are sore losers. What coach has delivered the most motivating speech to you ever? Probably Gina. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes, she's very motivating. Who ex exaggerates the stories the most? Liv. Liv Hannon. Did I say who had the worst white line fever? Bridget. Bridget? That's a joke. Right. She's very lovely. Okay. What about the worst tattoo? One of the girls, they got a bad, bad tattoo? I haven't seen any this year, but I did play with a girl who had a big ladybug up here a few years ago. Right. Who should go on The Bachelor next year? Maybe Zara. Zara? Okay. Mm. All right. Okay. That's it. We're done, we're dusted, so yes. uh, it wasn't too hard, was it? It wasn't too Excellent. bad. Excellent, all right. <laughs> so thank you very much for joining us here tonight at uh, Achuka Football Netball Club. We've got Tamara Nichols here from the netball team. Um, once again, get on YouTube, watch us, give us a like, and we'll see you in the next episode.